So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. They go play action here on first down. Finding time. Steps away to his left. Now he's going to... And it's caught. Touchdown. Brandon Cooks. 35 yards. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Got outside of the tackle box, and sometimes that can be a recipe for disaster, but here it was not. It's frustrating for guys on defense, too, because he got out to the left and then still delivered on the move with accuracy. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. And this will get out of bounds. No worries there, though. That still goes as a touchback. A look at the offense now here, coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan's showing you. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Back to throw now on first down. And Hill with it over the middle. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Again, it's Johnson. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Calling a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave it with a third and about five. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're not doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Out of the gun now on third down. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. And he still doesn't have a catch. We're into the second half. I think it's a little bit of a surprise to me, but that was one he should have caught. Absolutely. That was his best opportunity right there. He dropped it. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. Time running out here on the play clock. They'll look to throw. Open man, it's Vernon Davis. Six yards on the pickup, and on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. We always hear about guys wanting to make plays that quiet a crowd. Shh. Yeah. After that one. Here in the third quarter, they were hoping to get the stop, get the football back. Not the case. What a completion on a fourth down play. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Back now in Arlington. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. And the offense moving in the wrong direction here now as they face a second and 12. fake he'll look to throw he's gonna sling this and it's caught touchdown Tyreek Hill 37 yards and his guys are gonna take the lead 
Boy, that route is really tough to cover because if they're running it correctly, you think it's really going to be a slant. Yeah, well, we talk all the time about how it's tough to execute offensively, but you're saying, don't forget, it's tough to cover for the defense, too. Yeah, the number one thing that you're taught is to not get caught inside or get beat inside. So you guard that a little bit more. So that gives you a little bit more space to operate outside if you start to move initially inside if you're a receiver. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Breeze now. And the tight end Olsen right side. That catch good for five. It's third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. They come out here in the eye. On third and short, they give it a tight end. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. So the offense has it first and 10. Breeze now on first down. He's got time in the pocket. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Olivier Vernon in there to drop him. And it'll be a loss of about eight. And quickly, they get to the line. Now a play fake. Breeze. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target. And it's third down. If you're a defender, one of the fun things about playing zone defenses, especially in today's football, is that it's not as static as it was in the good old days, meaning you just dropped to a point and reacted to the football. Now you end up with a lot of man-to-man -man principles once you get into your zone defense. In other words, get to your assignment and then locate a guy coming into your area, and then you end up covering him almost man for man. That allows him to make more plays on the football like the one we just saw there. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. On oh, the keeper, it's Breeze. Give him two yards on that play. And they're able to convert here on fourth and inches. Now here's a timeout coming on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first, they'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. They come up in an offset eye. Another run, but this time it's Rawls. Time for a break. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. We're back to see what happens after this. Decent chunk of yardage still left here, second and seven. It's a five-receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. He'll look to throw. Getting it out left side to Sanu. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Rawls, the lone man in the backfield. They're going to give it to him running right. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. And the seemingly endless drive continues. On second down, Rawls. 
And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. And now whistles blow here. Play is stopped, and we're going to get a timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Great. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Oh, and just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Brown, the lone receiver left. He's back to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. He's going to sneak it. It'll be a pickup of just two. And the decision to go for it pays off. They've got a first and goal. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And now the offense gets set for play number 15 on this drive. It has been a long, long stanza for this unit. First down and goal to go from the seventh. They'll try to run with Rawls. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. A really long drive here, and it goes on and on. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll look to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down just looking at from a defensive perspective when you break the huddle in the red zone tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball of their hands fast in this position and they want to get it to someone and in this case he had the play they just didn't complete it nowhere to escape and he goes down now hold everything here we're going to get a timeout by the offense and as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines we take a break Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. One final try here for Breeze. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Brian Urlacher. And that is going to seal this victory as time runs out. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here. Coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. 
You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones, but at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five plays are going to be the ones you focus on, and that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it, and they came up with the interception and sealed their victory.